Plagiarism. It's a big word that's hard for me to spell, that's used to describe the act of stealing others' work with intentions of passing it off as your own. If you're a bad college student like me, then you've probably heard this word used when your research paper got graded. And when it comes to videos posted on youtube.com, plagiarism is something to be expected. With thousands of videos posted every day and accounts with large followings posting inspirational content to others, there's bound to be a few similar videos. But sometimes, every once in a while, we come across a video that is so egregiously stolen, it deserves to have a spotlight shown on it. I'm that spotlight. Me, with this video, I'm, I'm doing a spotlight. Or I'm, I am the spotlight. I'm doing that now. Start the video. Hello everyone, my name is Duncan, I'm an editor, and I make commentary videos on YouTube about things I find important. And one of my biggest inspirations on YouTube when it comes to making commentary content is Curtis Connor. He makes a lot of videos on a wide range of topics, but they all have his distinct charm, his iconic editing, and they're all honestly very fun to watch. I really like him. But like anyone famous on YouTube, Curtis does have people who copy him in order to try and share some of his success. So much so, in fact, that one day he tweeted this. I know this isn't that big of a deal, but this has always bugged me so much, lol. Obviously talking about the same topic is inevitable, but to use the exact same title and thumbnail? Is this weird or am I overreacting? And I would say, yeah, no, that is weird. It's not an overreaction. I saw this tweet from Curtis a few minutes after he posted it, and when I looked at the image, I was shocked. Curtis blocked out the YouTube channel's name, probably to protect the guy from unnecessary hate, which I completely respect. But I wanted to know more. <laughs> so I typed in the title of Curtis's video, Are Men Really Trash? And it came up. But sure enough, directly underneath was this guy's video. And I don't know why, because I don't usually do this but I immediately saved the video. When I make my commentary videos, my process is that I find the topic, I write the script, I film the video, and then when it's time to edit, that's when I download the video I'm talking about. But this time, for some reason, I downloaded the video first. And I'm really glad I did, because not two minutes after I found it, the video was gone. What happened was Curtis's fans did the exact same thing I did in order to find the video and started leaving comments, and the creator of this second video deleted it in order to save face. I now find myself in the possession of, potentially, the very last copy of this video that was intended to steal from Curtis and copy it, which I know the creator does not want anyone to see. So let's watch it. But I am not going to mention this guy's name. Curtis does say in his original tweet, don't send these guys hate or anything. That's not what this is about. And I want to respect that. And I don't make videos calling out people for no reason. What this video is about is plagiarism. And I really enjoyed Curtis's video on this topic. So I want to know if this guy's copy is up to the same standard. Curtis's video approaches this topic with the respect and care that it deserves. Now let's see how this video approaches the sensitive topic on if all men are trash. Have you ever seen a tweet or heard the phrase of someone saying, men are trash? I say it. Trash. What is trash? What is man? What is what? Men equal trash. Trash. Okay, so immediately, different tone. This guy is approaching it in a much more jokey sense. What is trash? What is a man? He wears a trash can on his head. Uh, he's making this <laughs> in not a serious way. And that's not a bad thing necessarily, because Curtis has jokes in his video too. There's enough content in his video to entertain as well as inform. This guy is trying to lighten this conversation, which is totally fine, but it all depends on the rest of the video. So obviously men and trash is something people say and sometimes it's like a joke and other times it's not so much like a joke. And we're obviously men. Yeah, And uh, trash. Yeah, that's, I guess, you know, it's like we're like Forky in Toy Story. You know? <laughs> I am trash, every Embrace man it. everywhere, you know? I'm trash. 
I am now starting to wonder about the age range of this guy's target demographic. Also, I get that I'm new to this guy's content and I might be a little out of the loop, but is that a cardboard cutout of Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series behind him? I get how that's probably like an inside joke with his audience about his celebrity crush or something, but it's still a little weird to see. Can you imagine how much weirder my videos would be if there were just random cutouts of celebrities I liked in the background? And the truth is there's some really funny memes and tweets and like messages I found online about examples where men are clearly trash. And we're gonna be taking a look at some of those today to see if indeed men are trash. Yeah, and if all men are trash. He's putting a lot of emphasis on the word all there. So let's compare the two videos for a second. Curtis's video sought out to understand why the phrase all men are trash is so popular by looking at examples. This guy wants to look at examples of men being trash in order to prove if all men are trash. Am I getting that right? He's looking at examples of men being trash and then tries to see if all men can be defined by them, which is a weird agenda. So this first one is from Colleen and she said, the only thing men collectively have is the audacity. <laughs> I like how she added the. You have the audacity <laughs> yeah. to even think about doing what you just did. You know, guys in general, a lot of times you do stuff and you don't really think about what it might cost. The repercussions. You, know? you don't. Okay, so the tweet they're talking about isn't great. It's sort of an easy joke that's been done a lot, so I don't blame them for laughing at it, but I really don't like how their first reaction is to start coming up with excuses. I think a great example of this is like, guys aren't as great about like knowing how something's gonna make you feel, mm -hmm. you know? You ever just do something you're like, ah, oh, I guess I should have been aware of that. Yeah, like, oh, I fucked that up. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I am trash, garbage yeah. human. Are you guys referring to empathy? Those are not gendered things. When a guy does something bad, we can't just go, oh, well, boys will be boys. Men just don't consider other people's feelings. What are you gonna do? That's just a man thing. I don't need these two to be shitty behavior apologists. There's enough of that online. So here's a list of boys that will definitely ruin your life. Oh boy. Oh. Any boy named Kyle, all Matt's, Chad's, or anything with Ad, which is so funny because my best friend growing up's name is Chad, but he goes by CJ, and he's like the nicest dude. He's. I am not enjoying this video. What happens is they just read a tweet that's just a recycled joke, and then they take a minute to tell a personal story. I'm not entertained by this. So if you're going to copy Curtis Connor from the thumbnail and the title, you know you're going to get a lot of his viewers, or at least that's your goal. So why would you not make the video better? This guy copied Curtis's video, thereby inviting comparison. So why would he make a low quality video compared to a high quality video intentionally? I don't, I can't get into his mind. Men who say they're kinky. Uh -huh. Ariana's new album, Handshake. Not slapping as hard as I was hoping. <laughs> I love that about guys. Like the guy on Tinder who's like, you know, I'm, I'm really kinky, like, and I'm like naughty and like, uh, I'm gonna like do so many things to you. And then like, you guys actually hook up and it's like missionary for about <laughs> 10 minutes. I'm trying really hard not to expose who this guy is. So I'm not going to show you this, but you have to believe me when I tell you that he has a million subscribers. He's already successful. He already has attention. Why is he trying to copy someone else in order to get his viewers? He could have come up with a different title and a different thumbnail, and nobody would have said anything. I would not be here if he had did that. Fathers, you can't trust men. They only want one thing. Uncles, boys are just trying to play you. Cousins, you better not be dating those boys. Brothers, they just want to get inside your pants. Girls, <laughs> men are trash. Men collectively gasp. <gasps> How could you say that? What? Are you kidding? What? We're great equality, guys. <laughs> How do we defend that? I don't, yeah. Cause I, that's, that's what dads and uncles and cousins and brothers do say. So here's more proof that they, or rather yellow shirt here, are going into this video trying to defend men. Which I guess is a stance that makes sense. If you hear someone say all men are trash, then it's expected that men are going to get defensive and be like, well, I'm not trash. 
Personally, I am not offended by the phrase, all men are trash, because I know that I'm not trash. When I hear the phrase, all men are trash, I do not think, yeah, every single man on this planet is terrible. When I hear people say, all men are trash, what I hear is them saying that an overwhelming amount of men, either online or in person, have been shitty to this person and made them upset or uncomfortable. And I am not going to plant my feet and say, I'm a man who's not trash. Do you feel better? Instead, I'm going to say, I'm sorry. I get that a lot of men are terrible. I don't get upset by the phrase all men are trash because I know I'm not trash. If you get upset by that saying, maybe think about it. Hey, 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 wow. Hey. <laughs> I love it. I think guys can get weird DMs too, but I don't think it's anywhere near the same. Mm -mm. You, can, <laughs> It looks really bad if you're defending the men who have been harassing women online. Again, this guy is really breaking his back trying to play devil's advocate here. We really are watching a video of a man jumping through hoops in order to justify harassment on a dating app. What's up? Tidying up before bed, what about you? Ejaculating on your face. <laughs> Not much, just spent like 15 minutes making this. <laughs> Hopefully it paid off. Hopefully it paid off. That does not sound like the correct response to me. If we dated, would you <laughs> me with a if I asked you to? June 7th, that was a June 7th, <laughs> June 8th, June 30th. A lot changed in those 20 days. Nick was polite about everything. He was like, if it's consensual, if we dated, I stand a consensual asking of this. That is wrong. That is why the saying all men are trash is so prevalent. I don't know what men on dating apps need to hear this, but don't send sexually aggressive messages to strangers you don't know. And if they are not engaging with you, it is best to move on. And it is not a good idea to crank the dial up to creepy. Men equal trash. I will say this, there's some good men are trash memes out there and uh, there's validity behind anything. And I think there's validity behind men are trash. So to all the guys out there, just do your best not to be like stupid trash. We're not aiming for stardom here. Don't. We're aiming for bearable. Females are going to get rid of us, okay? <laughs> it's gonna happen. We're gonna lose our utility us, somehow. Us as a species have to evolve. Yes. Or I can't handle this. <laughs> it's so bad. Again with the trash can on the head. It wasn't funny the first time. I'm not laughing now. And then after everything they've looked at this video, Yellow Shirt has the audacity to say, I will say this, some men are bad. What do you mean by I will say this? Of course some men are bad. Where have you been? We just watched an entire 10 minute video of evidence. How could you, <laughs> what? Females are going to get rid of us. They just said females will replace us. Anyone who uses the word female in a casual context gives me bad vibes. If you're a guy that says female a lot, please stop. It looks weird. Anyway, there you guys have it. Let me know. Do you think all men are trash? I oh, hope we're not trash. We're not too much of trash. I mean, Hermione, what do you say? We're YouTubers, so. Did he just ask the cutout of Hermione if she thinks he's trash? What is his relationship with the cutout of Hermione? Also to answer his question, I would love to leave you a comment in the comments below like you said, uh, but I can't because the comments are gone, because the video is gone, because you got caught plagiarizing another creator in order to get some of his attention. But that's it. That's the entire video. It's over. So now I need to try and figure out my point uh, because one of my points is plagiarism is bad, uh, but I think we all knew that. I guess uh, if you're going to be talking about a complex situation, it requires a little bit more care and respect. In order to have a good discussion about something serious, you need to approach it with less jokes. I think that's the message here. And if the creator who I won't name is watching this video, I just want to say, don't plagiarize. They teach you that in high school. Like, don't plagiarize people. You can take inspiration, but don't plagiarize.
Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it you making this far. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. That's very important to me. I want you all to be okay. And if you make YouTube videos of your own, don't plagiarize. And if you do, don't make it as bad as this, guys. All right, that's all from me. Bye. I love you.